how to avoid false breakout. If you have ever been in a market and you thought this market gonna buy and then it sold on you, maybe you are trying to trade a false breakout. Before I even go to the video, let me just explain to someone who is watching and they don't know what a false breakout means. A false breakout is any time the market attempt to break either a resistance or a support and then immediately changes direction. You already know that a resistance is created when a, red, a green candle is followed by a red candle. So that's how a resistance is created. When a red candle is followed by a green candle. Now, once resistance is created, we have three things that can happen at resistance. And I don't know if you guys, you know that there are three things that happens at resistance. Number one, break of resistance. BOR means break of resistance. Number two, rejection at resistance. Number three, ranging at resistance. So we have to understand that anytime, as long as you know how your resistance is created, you are supposed not to know this resistance that because it is created. So if I have three resistance here, I want to, to elaborate what break of resistance mean, rejection at resistance mean, ranging at resistance mean. So if I have another resistance around here, so if I have that resistance, I have another one there. So resistance is created when, when a green candle is followed by a red candle. So that's how resistance is created. When a green candle is followed by a red candle. So if I have three resistance here, I want to show you the outcome. Any, any outcome can come to you. We don't choose the outcome that resistance will do. So if I have three uh, scenario, scenario one, break of resistance means buyers come back up and they break with the body. So there's a difference, market breaking with the body and the body is there and we have a week. If I say breaking, I mean break with the body. So that is the first one, resistance breaking with a body. So this is how the market breaks. So if you want to, if someone, if you're really looking at resistance break, this is what we mean. When we say rejection at resistance, we mean the candle was big, but the market got, uh, the buyers got rejected in the process. Maybe for four hours it was going up and then the rest of the day, the market shrank because sellers pushed the market down. And that's what we call rejection of the, of the resistance. So when we talk of breaking, of, when we talk of breaking of resistance, we are so focusing with the body, okay? When we talk of rejection of resistance, is the weak, presence of the weak. The weak should be seen, okay? When we talk the resistance is ranging, is when the market comes uh, around that area and keeps catching that zone. So the market does, it's not sure, do we break, do we not break? So they keep touching that area. And sometimes we may even have small, they are called like, crosses so the market doesn't even know do we break do we do, what do we do so that's what i'm calling ranging so ranging of resistance is when uh the market now plays around the resistance so and whenever you are analyzing your chart this understanding is important if you fail to understand this it will be too hard on you so you have to understand that my resistance can be broken my resistance can be rejected and my resistance can be, can range, can go on a sideways. So when we talk of fake out, sometimes and most of the time, 
we have seen when resistance break, initially the mind of a trader, they think the market will continue to buy because the momentum candle has shown us buyers are in control. But most of the time, what we are calling fake out is what you thought now because of the break, the market will go up, the market starts to sell on you. Now, that's what we are calling a fake out, okay? So fake out is when the market has broken resistance. Now, this, this candle is what we are calling a fake out. This green candle is what we are saying. Oh, the market gave us a fake out. Fake out, false break. So this fake out or false break is where all the traders thought the market will go up and the market starts to go down. So let me try to look with the chart. You can see around here, this is a fake out, guys. So we have a resistance. Resistance is created when a, when a green candle is followed by red. So if this was your trade, if you were here and majority of people entered this trade, what do you think will happen? People will enter this trade thinking it will continue to go up because it has broken resistance. But instead, the market continued to go down. It is sold. So here, this is what we are calling what? We are calling a fake out. I hope now you have understood what a fake out is. I hope you have understood what a fake out is. So how do you prevent fake out? How do you prevent fake out? It's very easy. By using this technique, you will know how to prevent this fake out. So let, let's let's see how to prevent fake out. For instance, you will be, you will find your trade uh, like that. So let me give you with an example. You will be analyzing the market and this market was going down and now you don't know, is this a reversal? Because the market was, for some time, so was going down. And then now buyers have started to push the market up. So at this point, you don't know is this a reversal or a retracement? Because if it is a reversal, it means the market should continue going up, creating high highs and high lows. That's what we mean by reversal. But if this market is just a retracement, it means it will be going down because a retracement is just a short, a short change of direction of the chart. So now, if you are analyzing this chart and you don't consider all those things, when you come and you put your resistance here, what you, you will see, you will see a market that has broken out. And now you will you can say, oh, by the way, this is a very good reversal because buyers are in control and they have power. And maybe they are coming to the second zone. Maybe they are coming here. And you see now you are judging the market based by the market breaking. And you can you can either even put your buy trade. You can come and put your buy trade. And this is how majority of people, traders, uh, they trade. So even you can be, let's say, even you want like 50 pips or something. And the first day, the market does not move as much. And there is no trigger for you to exit. But after that, the market starts to go down on you. And you're wondering what really happened. Why did the market after breaking? Now, this is what we are calling a false break. This is what you are calling a false break. So how would you have avoided this? It is easier. Anytime you will ever see a market breaking, guys, anytime you will ever see a market breaking like this, the market has broke or uh, has broken that resistance. Anytime you see a market breaking that resistance, uh, you have to understand one thing, that on lower time frame we may be sitting on a zone. So that's how to avoid fake out. So anytime your resistance is being broken, you have to be sharp. So this is daily time frame. You have to be sharp. What is, what is happening on the four hour? So before you make any move or, or decision, just go to four hour and just check. Because daily they are saying they have broken. What about four hour? And you will see on your four hour, there is a support that is OPT, that resistance, sorry. There is a resistance that is not visible on the daily. So what is not visible on the daily is what people call a fake out. So you can know in advance. So let me go back on the daily. 
I do not have anything. So uh, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, this buy, the market should buy and buy very well because uh, I don't have any hindrance obstacles. But what you fail to understand is that where the market is, it's seated on a zone. And this is a resistance area. This is a first attempt. And now we have second attempt and two attempts makes a double bottom. So you can imagine a double top. So you can imagine by the time you, you, you are placing your buy trade, people are placing, uh, they are called what? We are placing our sell orders because we are, uh, we have been, we, we have, we have had a, C a CSB current support break. So when we are entering the sell because of current support break, you are wondering why did the market sell on me? Yet it was, it had broken above. I have shown you. The reason is because on the four hour, we had a double top and the market continued to go down. You can imagine this double top, it was coming to hit the half guys. The market was coming to hit the half. So can you see? It was coming to, to, to hit the half. This double top and it dropped. That is one example. So let me give you another example. And this example is with GBP card. There was a time, uh, GBP card had uh, something like this. And I remember, because now I know the secret, I know what is happening in the market. I remember I was, I was on this trade and on the daily time frame, we happened to have a break at support. And you can see it's a very good break. And what they do, they will make sure once they break like this, they will range this market at this area for many people to get to get into the sell a uh, sell side because they don't people don't understand that this is a fake out but they are seeing how the market will come back either to this area or this next support so uh, anyone who is selling they are blinded because they can't see anything here but if you go to 4 hours you're seeing there is a support that is here. You can see that support. There is a support already that has created a double bottom. So you, 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 you are wondering why don't I just sell and the market just behave? But you don't know that on the four hour we have a double bottom. So anytime you want to be assured with any break, it has to the breaks. I have to not have any hidden agenda because if this market is like this and you enter sell, the market bought on you. Why did the market buy? buy? Why do you think this market bought and yet they had broken here? Is because according to four hour, they followed this pattern. They followed the double bottom pattern. You can see. So they never violated the double bottom. You can see how they ranged and we got our CRB around here. So when we were being given an entry for buy, majority were selling. So we had a CRB and the market went up to the neckline and completed the distance. You can imagine even maybe it went half of the distance. And that is one of the example to show you. Anytime you see market breaking also daily for, be, be cautious before you do anything, just be cautious. Uh, the next example is GBPUSD. So here we have GBPUSD, and I want to show you what really happened with this market. So this market had a break, and this was last week trade. So this is what happened with GBPUSD. And if you traded this double bottom, you are very lucky. Um, we had a break of double bottom. You can see very clear a break not double bottom, a support break. So majority of people, <laughs> I don't know how people analyze, but the majority of people are selling because the market keeps breaking support. But what you don't know is that when you go to four hour time frame and you squeeze the chart like this, where the market has broken, it has activated this double bottom. So we have a double bottom that has been activated. And this is the double bottom that we call OPT. Anytime you hear me say double bottom or PT, what I mean is that that double bottom is not on the daily. You can see it's not on the daily. So you are seeing support breaking, but other time frame, 
we have already a pattern. So if we were to enter with four hour, we would only wait for current um, current resistance to be broken. We call it CR. So we wait for current resistance to be broken. And this was our entry. But on the daily, people didn't understand why after the market breaks, it has gone up immediately. You see what now you are calling a fake a fake out or a breakout in another time frame, it has a pattern and the market is on the right direction. So by the time people are calling these things a uh, fake out, it's just because they uh, they activate new patterns on lower time frame. And what happened from there, the market continued to buy. It bought, it bought up to up to the neckline. And you can see that's what is happening to that trade. And the last but not least is AUD USD. This is our last example. So if you go to the daily time frame uh, of AUD, and this, these are trades that we were last week, uh, the market was a clear, it was so clear. You know, when I tell people, don't trade the scene, always trade the unseen because the unseen is profitable than the scene. So here we had a break. So this was the market. So it we had a break like that. The market, uh, we had this one, the market uh, had a, a breakout support. So this is the breakout support. And we stayed for three days not knowing what to do. So here we had a breakout. But the question is, once we had the breakout, what was four hour? What was happening on four hour? So you can see on four hour, we had a, an area where the double bottom was not yet activated. So yes, we have a break but they have not yet activated here. They have not activated here. So if I go back to the daily and I'm, I'm selling and I don't know why the market is not selling, you can see this green candle, the job was to activate my double bottom. So if I go back to four hour, you can see that now finally they have activated the double bottom and they are almost breaking current resistance. And imagine that's how that entry was given. So you are just, that's by the time people are being given CR to enter by, CR to enter by, on the daily, there was a confusion of a fake out. So I don't want you to always say, oh, I entered sell, the market bought, I entered buy, the market sold. It's just because you don't know, to, you don't know, to, you don't know time frame alignment and you don't know how to trade the unseen. So if I was on this trade, uh, we were on this trade, we targeted the neckline. So the market, when you flip on the daily, this is a clear fake out. But on four hour, people have, people are enjoying the double bottom. People are not seeing a fake out, they're enjoying the double bottom. And up to now, the market bought massively and it never went back. So we had uh, up to the, neckline the market really pushed up to the neckline and they can still come back to this area but that is another lesson for another day so in short what i'm trying to say anytime you will ever see a breakout on the daily and it happens even on lower time frames i can even show you with euro usd it does it's it's not only on daily and four hour let me show you on euro usd there was a time i had um a very massive candle and I didn't know uh, what was it, what was all about. It's just because I have really practiced on the fake out. So this is four hour Euro USD. I want to show you that it still happens within, even with the lower time frame. So this is Euro USD for four hour and we have that breakout. So everyone is saying, oh, finally this market is coming to tap this area because that is the next support. So what you don't know is that this is a fake out, okay? So how do you know surely, surely that this is a fake out? You'll start going back to lower time frames. You'll go to two hour and you're just checking on your left. Do I have a double bottom? And you can see I do not have. And then you go to one hour and you check on the left and guess what? You have a double bottom that is hidden on one hour that is not even on four hour. So what I'm trying to teach you it's you now to go and do practice. It happens all over, everywhere. As long as you find a break of structure and you are ready to enter that trade, first think before you enter because 
this double bottom was not on the four hour. So for four hour, people are trading the break of support and they want to continue selling because according to them, majority have even put uh, orders there thinking the market will obey that. And because the market makers know you want to put your orders there. So the orders will be activated. You can see the orders were activated. But yeah, after the orders were activated, the market bought. The market bought. Why did the market buy? It's because on one hour, the market was revealing a pattern. Okay. So anytime you will ever see a fake out or you ever see a break of support or a break of resistance, before you enter buy or sell, ask yourself. If this is a fake out, it has activated a new pattern. So you will be able now to go to scale down. I have shown you, you can even scale down even for our 20, 30 minutes, 15 minutes. It's all about mastering that this time frame has broke. Let me go and look what is making it to be a fake out. Okay, guys, all the best. Thank you for watching. And I, I will emphasize that I don't sell Bitcoins. Don't be scammed. I get messages every day people saying that they gave their money uh to people uh to be uh to be traded for i don't trade for people me my business is to come here and teach you and train you and if you want any of my course you see i've given you my number because i don't want anyone to say i never gave out my number my videos you can get my number this number you will not pretend and even if you text this number you will already know that this is my number. If you want my course is $1,000, one strategy is $100. And I can add Zoom, let me add here, Zoom meeting one on one for one month, for one month is 1,500. So, is 1500 let's see so this is for international members so if you want that zoom meeting one on one for one month is 1500 one strategy is a hundred dollars in 12 modules the whole course is a thousand dollars that is recorded if you want my paid mentorship if you don't have the money always come back to my videos at 3 p.m kenyan time and you will always learn something new all the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. See you. Love you.